shall propose further cooperative efforts between all the nations in weather prediction and eventually in weather control. that you could actually spray sulfuric acid in the stratosphere 20 kilometers over our head and use that to stop the planet warming up in a kind oh, wait, of ugly you, tech fix. You can, you can spray something into the atmosphere to yes. change... Okay, spray okay. Spray pollution into the atmosphere to stop it warming. At least 18 reported tornadoes in three states overnight and more than 100 severe weather reports. Overnight, twister after twister taking aim at the heartland. Now, you can see this massive funnel cloud making its way across that field. In Oklahoma, this reported tornado touching down. And check out the ominous Kansas sky overnight, lightning revealing numerous funnel clouds. Okay, so how, okay, again, I, I interrupt you slightly there. How does it work? You take, you, how many planes are we talking about here? How do you do this? So let's say you wanted to stop it warming in 2020. Yeah, you yeah. start with a fleet of just two or three kind of modified business jets. You put, say, 20,000 tons of sulfuric acid uh -huh. into the stratosphere every year, uh -huh. and each year you have to put a little more, mm -hmm. and this doesn't, in the long run, mean that you can forget about cutting emissions. We will need to rein in. No, we'll get to it eventually. Yeah. But it does. In the meantime, we're shrouding the earth in sulfuric acid. of Oklahoma under a state of emergency tonight. High wind and severe drought are creating blowtorch conditions. At least one person has died. More than 200,000 acres have burned. 1,400 people have been forced from their homes. The largest fire burning is the Ray Fire in Dewey County. That fire is 28 miles long and 7 miles wide. Western Oklahoma is on fire. A state of emergency declared in more than 50 counties. The smoky smell detected in neighboring states. Uh, the wind's horrible. The only thing that we've had is cooler temperatures, uh, and that hasn't affected the, the fire conditions at all. The reprieve will be short-lived. Temperatures are forecast to soar into the 90s this week, potentially whipping up Oklahoma's already deadly wildfire. Blanketing the earth in sulfuric acid because I'm all for it. This is the all chocolate dinner. I still get to have my CO2 and I just need to spray sulfuric acid right all over the earth. Right question. But we put 50 million tons of sulfuric acid in the air now. Kills a million people a year worldwide. Okay, and that's and so good or bad? It's terrible. <laughs> but it'll be better if we put more in. We're talking about 1% of that, a tiny fraction of that. So we should reduce that sulfuric acid. So if it pollution. kills a million people and it's we're only bad. doing about 1% more, we're just killing 10,000 more people. You can do math. Okay. But that's, so So killing people is not the objective here. <laughs> killing people, not the objective. objective I just objective wanted to be clear. I just wanted actually, to be clear. Actually, All right. Red tide discovered in the waters off two popular Collier County beaches. The latest round of testing uncovered the high levels of the harmful algae near Barefoot and Vanderbilt beaches. It's causing dead fish to wash ashore, many still littering the stand there. Well, the deadly effect of red tide on fish is still very present out here on Vanderbilt Beach. They are all over the place, but it's not just fish taking a hit tonight. A wildlife veterinarian tells me that there are birds eating these fish that are impacted by red tide and then getting sick. Red tide is back with a vengeance at Collier County beaches. This is definitely the longest one I've ever remembered. The last test from Thursday found high levels of red tide in the water near Barefoot and Vanderbilt beaches. Tests conducted earlier in the week found almost no sign of the harmful algae. It seems that it's been fairly consistent for months now. Joanna Fitzgerald is a wildlife veterinarian. She says all of these birds here almost died after eating fish contaminated with red tide toxins. They come in and they can't even blink. It's a, it's a full body paresis, so they, they can't move. And I'll, I'll read you the quote um, because it's an important one and it comes from um, 
the Secretary of Defense, William Cohen, and it was at a DOD news briefing, April 27, 1997. It was on a conference of interna on international terrorism, international um, uh, terrorism and weapons of mass destruction. Now, this is four years before 9-11. Um, and this was in the DOD news briefing that, that followed. And what he said, and I quote, others are engaging even in an eco-type of terrorism where they, whereby they can alter climates, set off earthquakes and volcanoes remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves, unquote. Now that's a powerful statement for a seated Secretary of Defense to make. The ring of fire has sparked earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The volcano in southwestern Japan has erupted after 250 years of silence. And meteorological agency officials are telling people to stay away from Mount Hiyoyama. The eruption of a volcano on Hawaii's largest island has forced the evacuation of 1,700 residents. A witness described the flowing magma as a curtain of fire. Another said the eruption sounded like a jet engine. Well, I ran in, I grabbed the dogs, threw them in a crate, put them in the car. We moved from California to get away from forest fires. Welcome to paradise. In Hawaii, over 450 earthquakes in 24 hours and spewing lava. Volcanic eruptions spewing molten rock, ash, and toxic gases onto Hawaii's big island. The eruption stemming from a series of cracks in Puo O'o's rift zone, miles from the Kilauea volcano. Video from earlier this week shows walls of smoke billowing as the vent on Puo O'o collapses, leaving behind a red, rocky surface similar to that of Mars with gaping holes giving us a glimpse of the orange liquid magma smoldering below. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI, a method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. This process is also relatively inexpensive. The National Research, Research Council estimates that a fully deployed SAI program would cost about $10 billion yearly. On the geopolitical side, the technology's potential to alter weather patterns and benefit certain regions of the world at the expense of other regions could trigger sharp opposition by some nations following a story in Girard about some loud booms that some people believe are explosions in the city. A neighbor last night told us it's been going on for years in the neighborhood, just off Route 422 on Emma Street and also on Morris Avenue. For years now, people in Girard right around I-80 say they hear and feel explosions, but the one they felt Wednesday took it to another level. It sounded like a big bomb going off. The floor actually shook. I was laying on the couch and it shook. The roof felt like it was going to come down on us. Some of her neighbors have cracks in their foundations, crumbling exteriors, and they're wondering if it might be related. Superior Auto Body is right on the corner of Emma Street and 422, and Jared Latone says it happens on average a couple times a week. It's kind of now just, you know, oh, there's another one. All right, it happened again. We don't know what it is. We can guess and say we think it's the gas tanks from the cars across the street, but we really don't know. So, at least for now, the mystery continues, leaving a whole neighborhood on shaky ground. Can you just do it for part of the planet? Pretty much the whole planet. No, but could you? Could you just, like, say, just make things better for the United States? <laughs> Very hard to do. It seems okay. that this is mostly global. But the big fear is that one country will want it one way and one the other, like two frat boys arguing over the thermostat. And in many ways, the biggest fear here, but we have no idea how to actually agree about how to control the planet's thermostat. So what happens to the sulfuric acid after it's sprayed? Does it just stay up there? No, it rains down. Okay. But, it, but as I said, <laughs> it rains down. Okay, okay. It's a tiny addition of okay. what we're already doing. So in the end, pollution saved them all. <laughs> We owe pollution, we owe acid rain an apology is what you're saying. It would be a totally imperfect technical fix. Okay. It would have risks. It wouldn't get us out of the long run need to stop polluting, but it might actually save people and be useful. You ever look at those planes up there? They have contrails behind them. Maybe all those planes are the contrails. Maybe they're actually spraying chemicals into the atmosphere right now, and Uncle Sam isn't telling us. It seems extremely unlikely. The that fact that the United States is not telling something to its citizens, that seems extremely likely to me. <laughs> Yeah, I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. 
Bashem Raka Kadash, Dublin is to the apostles and elders who rule by the great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akims and the folk on the earth to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Right? Just want to get in some precept, you know. You know, we know the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, and you know, the wicked is Esau. Right? And the scriptures say, the scriptures are so prophesied that the most I can destroy them that destroy the earth. Right? You know, so we just get into a couple um, some precepts. Right? Um, yeah, man, this devil destroying the earth. This devil need to be destroyed. He need to be taken out his power seat. Right? Um, this is Job. Job 9 and 24, right? <coughs> This is Job 9 and 24. He said, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who's the judges? The so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native American are the judges. Everything this devil white, white, um, put his face on. You know? He said, If not, where and who is he? So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which is the so-called white man. He's the wicked. Right? The earth was given into him. Right? This is Revelation. 11 verse 18 this is revelation chapter 11 verse 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets the men that we see out there on the highways and by with the sincere brothers right the most I can reward those brothers who who doing this work in sincerity and truth right Unto, unto the saints and them that fear thy name you see the name is very important Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Raka Kadash right the name of the heavenly father the son is very important small and great and should destroy them that destroy the earth destroy them that destroy the earth right if we go into this word um oh now need blue letter but basically, you know, the scene with the steam with 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 the chemtrail. You understand? Going in with the chemtrail. A matter of fact, let me go to the um let me get the blue letter. Right? Yeah, the most I can destroy them that destroy the earth. Right? And this is this devil, you know, this devil gotta be taken out, you know. Because he's not gonna stop. And you hear these devil in the background, they know they're having fun. You know, they're laughing at these things. You understand? They are the harbinger. They are the harbinger of death. Right? That's why they got to be taken out. Right? Revelation 18. Revelation like Revelation 11, 18. And go to the word destroy. Right? Um, go to the word. Um, right? to the word destroy right Strong's G 1311 the Apthyro the Apthyro the Apthyro right it means to change for the worse to change for the worse yeah the change in climate the change in climate they may do in climate change you know by spraying the chemtrail in the air you know manipulating the weather you know these devils have this technology to corrupt how to corrupt the earth you know the chemical in the water you know the gmo food you know all this wickedness with this devil pushing in the earth right to corrupt the earth of mind moral to destroy ruin consume right this is what this devil do to the place so the most i see gonna destroy them that destroy the earth right it's back again revelation 11 and 18 and the nation were angry and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged these nations gonna be judged starting with the Edomites you are the heathen nation gonna be judged by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and two third of the people who refuse to talk back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai they're gonna be judged too with these heathens he said and that and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets the sincere brothers out there on the highways and byway and the saints the saints of the Israelites the 144,000 in one third who gonna believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And them that fear thy name, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Small and great, and should have destroyed them which destroy the earth. So the most I can destroy them that destroy the earth. Alright? Let me get um 
Let me get um this is uh Jeremiah fifty one and um staff of verse twenty. Um Jeremiah fifty one. Alright, staff of verse twenty. Let's see. Alright. This is Jeremiah chapter fifty one verse um twenty five. Behold, I am against I am against thee, O destroyer mountain. Destroyer mountain represent government speaking to America. Said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, which destroy all the earth, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks. And will make thee a born mountain. The most I gonna destroy you, devil's kingdom. The most I gonna burn America down to the ground. Right? The most I gonna destroy y'all. Right? You understand? Which destroy the earth. So we go to this word destroy it. Right? Strong's H seventy eight forty three. Shachath. Shachath. Shachak. Right? To destroy, to corrupt, to go to ruin, to decay right to mar to spoil to corrupt to be corrupted to injure to be ruined to be, be rooted spoil ruin to pervert corrupt deal corruptly morally yeah the pushing of um, the, the transgender transgender vibration of the people right the homosexuality vibration of the people right you understand? So the most I gonna destroy these people, destroy you heathens, right? You so called white people, the most I gonna destroy you so called white people, right? You destroy the earth, right? You gonna go into slavery, and after a thousand years, the most I gonna eradicate you devils. You understand? This is you devil's judgment, right? This is that is you devil's judgment. The motherfucker, me, I can close after the precept, right? You devil's judgment, right? Um, Omadiah 1, right, and go straight to the point. This is Omadiah 1 and 18, right? It says, And the house of Jacob shall be, be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau, you so called white race, for a stubble, and they, and they, and they shall kindle, it, kindle in them, and devour them, and they shall not be, and and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, you so called white people. For the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua had spoken it. So you're going to be destroyed because you destroyed the earth with your wicked vibration. Right? And with that, Hobbes Lessman said, If I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, Bashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule a great stone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the folk and the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.